Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Back into the Naval Academy today, we're looking at the U.S. Super Battleship. Your Super Battleship must sink a Japanese armado of modernized Dreadnoughts before it is reinforced by more ships. So, four Dreadnoughts, eight destroyers, a group of large dreadnoughts that have been modernized by the Japanese Navy is sailing back for refueling. You have the opportunity to attack and sink them with your much more powerful super battleship. You need to deal significant damage to the battleships to claim victory. Beware though, because the battleships are guarded by numerous destroyers, while a bigger Japanese battleship is not far away and will surely join the fight against you. You have a lot of money, and we have to sink at least three of them. Wow, and we can get a lot more money. Holy smokes. We'll go for the boost technology though. We'll do a max battleship for the moment. One that does not fit in the locks. That is hilarious. Max everything out and then we'll back it down. Definitely like our auxiliaries. That's nothing new. Oh yeah, we won't be able to afford all of this. Still liking the turtle back lately, more so than the others. Do the high TNT for now. We'll reevaluate that a little bit. I like electrics. AI dodges them less. And long range, of course. Radio we can skip. Gen 2 radar. Hey, we're under budget. That's alright, the expensive parts have yet to occur. There's our primary tower. Secondary tower. Is that even really worth it? Just put two regular tunnels. Funnels, not tunnels. And what do we want? Do we want the greater fire rate? Or do we want the hitting power? The 18s do twice as much damage as the 16s and have 10 kilometers more range. And we can take advantage of that range because we will have radar. So we will go with 18s this time. Right there, we get just about as much firing arc as we can on the rear deck. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. That is outstanding. I'm, I'm kind of excited now. No casemates. I don't think we, we can fix sixes. Not that I think they'll be useful. Should we put some sevens on here? Actually, if we're going to do that, we might as well do eights. How heavy is that? 411 tons. It'll be 800 tons. We have the tonnage. We can do this. some triple barrel sixes on there. Do we have fives? Fours. Yeah, there's a, 
That's where we get the other ones. Those destroyers will get nowhere near us. But with the Ranger, their torpedoes, they probably don't need to. No, we do have those. How much does it have? And those shoot right over. Perfect. Can't fit the three inch. Can't do triples, can't do doubles, can do singles. Although this feels a bit ridiculous. Then again, that's why we play this game, isn't it? Alright, I'm not putting any two inch on there. Although I'm curious if there are any slots. The answer is no. Why are you freaking out? Four inch triples. Oh, because we put the three inch there. Well, I would rather have the four inch than the three inch. So there. Uh, no torpedoes, I think. I do have some extended range, though. I'll, I'll put a couple. Do it German style and put it way out on the fantail. Just a few. Now for the fun part, if we want to protect against our own guns, which I don't think we do, Let's assume they can get 14 inch, the equivalent of 14 inch super heavy. We're looking at 26 inches of protection deck wise. We want 13, which is way too much, because our armor bonus is more. 100%. 110. So we should be able to get away with 12 inches. We'll put 13 on the turret top. And then we look at again 15s no closer than 15 kilometers, we're looking at 14 inch belt. Push it up to 15 for the turret and the conning tower. Secondaries I want to protect against the destroyers. So 6 inches is more than sufficient. Now to figure out how we're going to fit all this on here. First things first, probably cut back on the engine. That'll save a lot of money. Next we'll look at our engine efficiency, which is terrible. Third funnel takes care of that. Can we do balance? 83% is bad. But that actually costs more. Go back to induced, save a little bit of weight. Natural is not even an option. Bar bets. We cut that. that they really don't cost that much oh yeah we don't need to be going that fast let's go for 30 knots see how much cost that saves we'll 
drop the bulkheads to standard. Ooh, time to go to minimum. Anti-torpedo protection, we can drop that down a bit. Get hit by a modern torpedo, we're done anyways. Drop to a double bottom instead of a triple, and we'll start to shrink the ship. We can reduce the amount of shells that we have. And also look at alternatives to TNT. And our ammo is quite expensive. We can go for the extra range. Much cheaper shells with white powder. Kind of like that. I don't want the decrease in penetration and range that we get from cordite or tube powder. But really, it's white powder, TNT, or high TNT. And while I like the penetration, the cost is very expensive. So why not go with a more modest and get a little bit more range? And then we're pushing out to 50 kilometers. Yep, 50.5. And that should have bonuses to our accuracy. If we look at 25 kilometers, it's at 4.3. Now it's 3.8. That range matters. So I might be able to. Oh, almost. So what to sacrifice now? Probably just go down to hydraulic. Ah, I do, do not want the lower, smaller hull form. Though it does fit. Hmm. Thing got squeezed off. I'll go for a nice flat hundred thousand. Uh, nothing got displaced funny except for. Oh no, that's a pair of capstans, not something else. Everything else is where it should be. We move the torpedoes to here. Kind of a funny mount for them, but you know what? Why not? And I don't want to block that turret from being able to swivel all the way around. So. Anywhere else I can put these torpedoes that make sense up forward. Works for me. And then the surge have full capability to traverse everywhere it needs to. The ship is fairly balanced. We've used just about every last bit of funding and weight that we can. Put some armor into the secondaries to use up the last little bit. And I think we're ready to go. We do not want to get within 15 kilometers of them though. So let's see how this turns out. Oh, and with our engine efficiency, could actually go to natural. I don't want to do that though. We'll see how this works out. I'm interested to see how our North Dakota, so-called,
handles the situation. They are that way. Environmentals are positive. Definitely want the AP. And we want to come down to 25 knots. That was a slow traverse rate of those turrets. Maybe I shouldn't have brought it down so much. What do we have out here? Coming at us. Those look very Japanese. Very Japanese. Not that I think any of their battleships had this arrangement. Did we hit? How about that? Max range bonanza. Hit again. Goodness. What range are we at? All right, let's just stay nice and and steady. No need to close rapidly. One over penetration, one partial penetration, and a ricochet. Another fire, that one is a regular penetration. Perfect. This is going to be easy. Make sure we're doing what we need to. We are coming to the angle I want. Just slowly closing. Let's actually get fully perpendicular. They are now within range. Good penetration. Oh, I didn't want to go back. Just want to select. Excellent hit rate so far. So I'm feeling very good about our decisions. Can that turret not? I did not check the arcs, and it's blocked by one of the guns over there. That's unfortunate. 15 inch hit on the bow deck extended, penetrated. They're using 15 inch guns. Predicted that fairly well. Depending on how this works, I may want to close in. Let's check. Yeah, improvement will be to remove those guns. Those secondaries definitely are not worth it. Already have a 5% damage instability. That hit their belt? It did. Belt penetration, 250 damage in the bow. Kind of 
disappointed in the damage we did take. Looks like they are using some 16 inch. I might want to close range to an extent. We're at 27 kilometers. I'm definitely not in an immunity zone right now. There we go. Good sweating on that one. We may sink this ship before we even have an opportunity to identify it. Looks like the destroyers are sallying. There's another hit. Yeah, that's a good hit after good hit. That one was dead. You can see the hole right there. One was a mid deck right there. Oh, we're going to have to switch back here soon. Oh, another mid deck penetration. Looks like starboard side this time. Go hit into the deck and exploded somewhere down here. Taking more damage than I want to, but I'm not disappointed with the results. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to start maneuvering. They are under 20 kilometers. Ooh, double flooding. Belt and deck extended. Just love watching the damage occur. But we have to pay attention to our own ship. Secondary wise. are firing now. They're within range. So are the sixes now as well. Almost identified them. Pretty light on the armor. Thought I could get away with it. What range are we at right now? These are thirteen kilometer torpedoes. It looks like the same class. All right, let's rotate. Now ah, there we go. Secondary's doing their job. That's why I put eight on there. Push out and hit, but it was the sixes that did the actual damage. Oh, they're not actually going to sink? Oh, that's alright. I've disabled them. The 
Soggy has seen better days. There we go. Got that one. Used it, accidentally right clicked on the C rather than the target when the rudder tried to come around. Kasagi doing bullet holes. No turrets have been taken out though. Look how close that Unrio is getting. I kind of want to shift targets. I usually don't like to shift targets. We're going to though. Only 4.8% accuracy. Pretty low, it was doing a lot better. Did they? No, we haven't taken fire control. Damage. Disappointed in our our fire control now. Might be that we're getting a little too close. What is our long range techs? Yeah, it's much higher further out. We don't exactly have a ton of ammo though. We'll finish out regardless. There we go. Got to hit in the bow belt. It's our torpedo range, 13 kilometers ourselves. You know what? Let's come right. We'll close with them dangerous, but I kind of want to go back to the designer, but uh, this episode has gone on long enough that uh, if I do that, I'm just going to end the episode. I kind of want a conclusion, one way or the other.
but it really annoys me that the Bravo turret is not engaged because of the, the guns I didn't even think about how they would block the turret up there. Take a look. What do we got? They're at 15. So, secondary's there. Certainly bouncing a lot of the shots. I'm pretty happy with that. Deck's a little weaker than I thought it was. 18 kilometers. much better hit rate further out. So there's definitely a range we want to keep, probably around 20 kilometers. So I'll change my mind again. We'll go we'll keep steady. I'm going to shift the primaries to the icy. I'll bump it up to times three again. There we go. That's a good hit. Mid deck penetration up forward of the pilot house. Secondary tower over penetration. Closing aspect. Oh, there we go. The deck and bow belt extended. Stern belt extended. The deck shot went into the engine room. Stern shot went into the after steering. And the forward shot started flooding up forward. That'll slow her down, allow us to increase range still more. Another mid deck penetration further aft. Taking out one of their secondaries. The Unryu now getting close enough for secondaries to exchange. Close to this destroyer. Okay, yeah, that's unpleasant. Ah, there we go, that should ward off that destroyer. Looks like they're running out of ammo. It's no different for us though. The reduced speed seems to be helping. Alright, let's shift the secondaries. Sakura. Definitely trying to maneuver. Partial pen, yeah, that did nothing. There we go, pair of hits. One's a partial pen, the other one was stern belt extended and bow belt extended. So that was actually three hits. 
more flooding, but we've almost taken out the ship just in structure. Sakura took a hit to the funnel, that'll slow her down some. 47 and a half knots, good grief, that's fast. Two penetrations, mid-deck, up forward, and stern belt extended. Oh, there are torpedoes. I don't think there's any avoiding those either. Nope, we're gonna eat two. One's an ammo detonation. Drop back down to 25 knots. And even out our rudder again. Glad I invested in the secondaries. But I think it is to no avail. That has hurt us quite significantly at this point. Five speed. Our accuracy is lacking right now. Let's see if we can bring her around. I think we've missed our opportunity, honestly. They are now running away. Let's bring the rudder hard over then. Or let's just give a... a course change. We'll let the helmsman figure it out. 18 inch. Mid-deck penetration. Almost got him down just from structure. Damage instability rapidly decreasing for us until we took that hit. I assume that means we're pumping down the water right now. I don't think this will change anything, but we'll go to auto. Nice steady metronome of turrets firing. Another penetration. Mid deck doesn't appear to have done much. And with the fall of those shells, I think the fourth battleship is now. Oh, yep, it is in range. Right there. About to enter her range, and then this will probably be over pretty quick. Are they all running away? Really? They're 
they're gonna run. Oh, we did get another penetration. We did beat up the icy quite nicely. She's got holes all over. But I think they're all going to escape. Ooh, took out one of the main guns. Yeah, unless we repair one of those engines, they're going to get away. The ice will be the only one we get. Case may but didn't penetrate deeper. Big fire back aft. That's not gonna do anything. We're just gonna do half damage. Definitely not gonna be able to finish the mission. So I'm gonna call this one at this point. That's an unfortunate result, but that's how it goes. It's, we're no stranger to that through this series. So, I hope you enjoyed. Appreciate you staying till the end. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Take care.